Now, let me take you back to Kumasi, where some liquefied petroleum gas users in that city say they will be buying food from the street and others are reverting to using charcoal as they struggle to access their domestic fuel. Most gas outlets in Metropolis remain closed, Love FM's Emmanuel Bright Kweku report many LPG users who visited gas filling stations return home with empty cylinders. Stranded in a quest to refill her six kilogram gas container, Ya Ajepon has been searching all morning for a gas outlet to access LPG for domestic use. From Ashtown to Angloga, all the pump stations she has visited remain closed. With LPG being her only fuel source, she says she will resort to buying food from the streets until she gets gas to refill her container. The gates have been closed. There's no one there. I always use gas. I don't have coal. I don't even know what to do. I will be buying food outside. Her situation is no different from many other LPG users, including commercial drivers who trooped to various gas stations. Simon Mensa, a commercial driver, says the shortage will affect his trips, ultimately biting hard on his daily sales. <laughs> I have no option. Gas is what my vehicle functions with. After this trip, I won't be going again. The gas is about finishing. I won't be working until I get gas. I have a family to cater for, so this is really affecting us. The Ghana National Petroleum Tanker Drivers Union began a sit-down strike on Monday. Their reason stemming from the government's refusal to reopen some gas stations that were closed following a gas explosion in Accra in 2017. In the Ashanti region, at least 25 gas stations are under the ban. Organizing secretary of the LPG Dealers Association of Ghana is beseeching LPG users to empathize with them. We are, we are even feeling more pain than because we can't, we have, we have been seeing them going out stranded everywhere from one station to another trying to find get access to LPG but to us to us what we are doing is not today but tomorrow it will go into their own interest so they should uh, be with us and cooperate with us but in, we know it is hard times for uh, someone going from one station to another spending a, a whole lot of transport fare roaming about to get gas but they should try and build that. Until the situation is resolved, the over 25% of Ghanaians who use liquefied petroleum gas will continue to resort to alternative fuel sources. For Joy News, Imano Bright Kweku reporting. Yes, so watching Joy News Desk. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more stories. Stay with us.